So for anyone out there who has maybe heard of Project Bluebeam and about the kinds of speculations that people have been doing for many years now about a fake alien invasion and how they could possibly project things into the atmosphere, up into the sky, using hologram technology. If anyone out there still has any doubt about the feasibility of this, then I would just say take a look at this footage from a recent show done by a DJ, Eric Prids or Prides or however you say it. I believe the show was in London, but it's people are posting these uh, videos under the title of the world's largest hologram and uh, it's hard to doubt that this could indeed be the world's largest hologram that at least we've seen in you know the public at this point but that's the whole point is that if this is the kind of technology now that can be used in entertainment you know in the private sector for civilian use I mean come on The detail on these things is uh, pretty incredible. And, you know, this is like right over the heads of the, the people at this rave or whatever. But, I mean, can you imagine if this was thousands of feet up in the sky, in the atmosphere, over a city, and, you know, depicting some sort of alien ship or whatever they wanted? Uh, would you be able to tell whether it was real or not? If you couldn't go up and, you know, throw a rock at it or, you know, you couldn't actually tell if it was, if all you had was your eyes. Dang, man. I mean, you, you see the potential for what they could do with this. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. I know we've seen stuff like this before with, you know, the hologram of Tupac and stuff, but... It's just pretty crazy to see such a, see it so large. And, you know, so crisp with so much detail and the color and everything. And of course I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a lot of the, you know, it's, it's funny how a number of these holograms he does are space themed, of course. You got a satellite, and there's like a galaxy, and then of course the the spaceman, the Swedish spaceman, because Eric Prids is from Sweden. So uh, very interesting. And then on top of that, from this one show with the spaceman and everything interspersed throughout the whole thing is all this uh, recurring imagery of the cube. Lots of, uh, lots of symbolism going on. Lots of cube symbolism. Which I won't even get into, but... You know, <laughs> the footage kind of says it all. I don't think it needs a lot of... Oh yeah, there's Saturn in here. Of course, they gotta have Saturn. Saturn in the cube. I mean, good grief. Anyways, definitely just thought this was worth passing on. Is this the, the cube shattering? Oh, this looks like the cube shattering. Anyways, let me know what you guys think.